Unmuting. All right, unmuting. Okay, so. God damn it. All right. Uh. You have no. You have no fucking proof I'm wrong. Yeah, but you have no fucking proof you're right. <laughs> No witness testimony, nothing. All right, so uh, when we last left off, we were raiding the uh, Team Plasma Frigate. Because Frigate. You knew that was coming. This is why I tease you. What about a oh. At last, we meet again. Remember me, formerly of Team Plasma? I've been waiting for you. Gah! Spying is such a rotten job. I hate... I contact... I hate when you pour the... I hate when you pour the Pokemon channel. I hate it so goddamn much. I know! And it's cursed. Spying is such you a rotten job. You put it in multiple channels! Why? They were the channels that it applied to. Let's see. Yeah, spying is such a rotten job. I contacted Rood of the Seven Sages, but nobody showed up to help me. I can't stand it. Everybody around me is always saying bad stuff about Lord N. But Lord N learned the error of his ways and changed the course to a better path. Yet they call him a betrayer. Ugh, people really stink sometimes. They selfishly counted on him, and now they selfishly make a big fuss about being betrayed. Uh, I nearly forgot to tell you. This floor is a maze of pipes. You've got to step on switches to connect or disconnect the pipes. It's a good thing you can walk on the pipes. Alright, good to know. Woo! Woo. Okay. Max Elixir, all right. Max Revive. If Team Plasma takes over the world, there should be fewer Pokemon injured. Uh, a medic for the bad guys is still a medic. There should be less... If Team Plasma takes over the world, you should realize Pokemon injured. No, not really! You, they'll just be injured elsewhere. Or they would be outright dead. Yeah. Entrainment. Okay. Right, that affects uh, the user's um, ability. He just wants the control. He doesn't want the responsibility. Tell me, please, just what is a Pokemon battle? Injured Pokemon have both enemies and friends. Sorry, what is a Pokemon battle? According to Peta, it's a cock fight, even though that's evidently wrong. Yep. Alright, Plasma Grunt. What's this? You think you can beat me? One they call Queen of Team Plasma? <laughs> uh. Oh, what, good one. Watch this actually. Watch. Watch. This is actually and this one goes X. Eradicate? Yeah, nope. That would be interesting. I mean, there's there's probably a doujin like that or something. Maybe a corruption doujin where what was it? 
uh, Rosa, the female protagonist, had a relationship with N, and while N chose the side of good, Rosa took the side of evil or something like that. I'd believe that it would exist. You'd be surprised how many people are into the whole corruption kink. Well, to start off with, how many people do you think are fans of the quote-unquote bad girls of a franchise? Too and many. Oh. I know. Hey, I'm a soul. What an entrance, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know, what an entrance to make, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, well, man? The good news is I got all the cards you want. I got all the cards you wanted, at least I believe I did. So I'll send uh, I'll send the package out on Monday. Okay, cool. Also, if also if you're having trouble hearing me, I'll admit we're finally getting rain up here. <laughs> I mean, after all the talk of like you, Forrest, and Koki getting rain, we're finally getting it. Yep. So yeah, yeah my after, signal's not exactly the best. So. Yeah. Uh, trying to. Also, by the way, Forrest, I don't know if I don't know if Silver informed you, but when I was going through the file to um, give him uh, shards, I decided to take a look at the stats of uh, his Pokemon. Not only is Itachi does Itachi not only have adamant nature, she has max attack IVs. Well, that's Thirty-one. Pretty goddamn. But guess what? I'm gonna tell you something that's really gonna piss you off. What? Despite Silver constantly giving his Pokemon bitter herbs, all of them, except for Itachi, because he's new, have happiness over 200, with some of them close to max. I have the screenshot, I sent it to him. Actually, wait, no, I'm sorry, I didn't send you that, I sent you the stats. Shit, okay. Still. Although I did send him the screenshot of the stats, so if you want to look at it, I guess Silver can share them with you. Yeah, I can send them over. But no, I'm not. But no, I'm I'm not joking about the happiness. I can take more screenshots. I mean, I'm okay with that. <laughs> there we In go. In fact, I'll just use the old. Uh, I'll just use the old save file because it couldn't have changed that much anyway. Let's see. So yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Do, do, do. A crocker rock. Jubashi outspeeds it. By the way, I also realized something about Showdown last night. Yeah? You and Forrest both made, like, like a plethora of teams, whereas I only made two. So, technically, I still have to fight those other teams. So I suppose... Even though victory may be mine for that particular tournament, you do still have teams that could beat me. Yeah. I, I've actually made and I still have to, more. and I still have to make, I but, still have to make more teams myself too. But, but to make it fair, we did pick teams specifically that weren't, you know, absolute stomps on one side or the other. Well, I mean, somehow my fire team was pretty good against. Oh, never mind. It's fine. <laughs> well, yeah. But, I get. I, I get what you mean. No, I anyway, go ahead. Say, I've also made three new teams: a gold type team, a cyclone team, and a fighting team, so I can show Remy what an actually good fighting team looks like. Funny, I was actually gonna make normal and psychic, along with I was thinking grass. Uh, I. It's probably gonna be my next one, but. Eh. I will say though, whatever teams I make, I'm not gonna do repeats. So because Low Kicks and Meow Scarada are on, well, Meow Scarada, I guess specifically, because Meow Scarada is on the Dark team, I'm not going to put it on the uh, Grass team. Fair I enough. Keep it all completely I unique. I well, I noticed because I, you, yeah. I think used a Dark team or a Bug team or something, and you had Low Kicks on that, so. But I could have sworn I, you had it somewhere else, too. I, it, it, yeah, Low Kicks is on my Bug team, I'm pretty sure. 
If I was mm -hmm. able to have a Hitmonchan, y'all would have been fucked. I mean, you would have had access to all the elemental punches along with Drain Punch too, so I can Exactly. See Definitely. And, and guess what, my, and guess what, on my fighting team I have a, uh, an Iron Fist on Kelga that does the exact same. You know, this is a time where I'd say Iron Fist is okay because it's kind of on the level of, you know, Ubers slash legendaries. So, yeah. <sighs> So I'd say if you want silver, you could put Iron Hands back on your uh, fighting team and then put Okie Dokie on a poison team. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. Saying, Okie Dokie has access to moves like Crunch, so you can count with Psychic Punch. Alright, Edwin is now level 45. So man, I guess we'll see. The rain has stopped like, where I am, so now the rain won't stop in my game. <laughs> And I had just gotten my cow out faster because of. And here's the hoping that Koki can join us next time because then it'll be really interesting. I actually listed off my psychic, normal, and uh, fighting team layouts for a friend. A uh, friend that's like thousand competitive, and I'll list them off for you guys now. As I get ready to go for a walk because, like I said, it's starting to stop raining, and I wanted to go get chips because I got the first twenty dollars of my check today apparently and I want to get chips. I want to get potato chips. <laughs> potato chips. You seem to you seem to love speed boost Pokemon. I speed boost is a really good ability. To be fair. To be fair. Oh, oh, it is definitely. It's just I notice this is the second team where you have you have one on there. Oh man! Oh man! I just thought of something batshit insane. Wait a second. Hold, hold that thought for a minute, Forrest. I just realized something. If I make a water or a dragon team, technically nothing is stopping me from putting uh, Dracovish in there. Ooh. Uh, yes, because I'm gonna do it. There is something because I'm pretty sure Dracovish is in Gen 9. Well, that all depends. I guess we'll have to see. Anyways, let's see about my fighting team. I've got Conkelda, Pyrath, the Pyrath is green and I named it Kermit because, of course. Come on! But Polyrath is a tadpole, not a frog. <laughs> anyways, combo anyways, combo Rapid Strike or Shifu, so the water type one. Iron Valiant and Sneasler. And then for the normal type team, we've got Psychozar, the fuzzy noodle. You know, well, before you continue, before you continue, Sneasler, based. You have good taste. <laughs> I mean, Sneasler's a very good Pokemon, but yeah. We've got Psychozar, Ferret, Snorlax, Knockout, the Dunspark, and Pistillion Zorark. Ooh, nice. Uh, refresh my memory. Hisui and Zoroark is Dark Ghost, right? No, no, no. It's no Ghost Normal. That's what makes it especially sneaky because oh. fighting is not effective against it. Ooh, that is good. Yeah, it is only weak to one type, and that's Dark. Yep. That is. And good. it also has Illusion too. So imagine having that in a normal Zoroark. <laughs> that would be really funny. Well, like have the Hisui and like, one. Well, the thing is that the A is that your opponent might try barrier bug on the illusion Zorark. Yeah, true. I guess so. I was thinking more like them using fighting and then like, oh, it's not effective. Like, what the fuck, how? You know? Because it's more likely they're going to use fighting because of how common it is, but you are right about that. Yeah. Ugh. Well, so I've started to use scarf. I've started to use scarves. After last night, I started to dabble in scars. <laughs> <laughs> God I damn it! Their power, then. <laughs> God damn it, MSO! You changed her whole fashion aesthetic. <laughs> More like I've taught both of you how to be truly competitive. I used, it used to be all about belts, like like I was a fucking Nomura character. Now it's all about them scars. Well, you have to. Be
to be careful with scarves. They give you a power boost, yes, but you're locked to one move, so you might want to be careful. So, so now you're a common rider. Just common rider scarf. Yeah, it's more like I've taught both you and him how to properly be uh, competitive. <laughs> yeah, I. I but yeah. Right, because what was it? Somebody pointed out that he had the chin, he had he had the hair, and it's just like can't unsee it. Yes, they have the same face. I mean, his keyblades are looking a little thicker than normal, but I mean, uh. And yeah, they're the goddamn same. All right, let's see. Uh. I mean, his keyblades look more massive than normal, and he's a lot slower than I remember. <laughs> I mean, they, Old Man Xehanort was always slow, until, like, the final battle of Kingdom Hearts 3. By the way, in all fairness, I can... Oh. By the way, I'd say in all fairness, um... I can see using belts when you're using a bunch of moves that have 100% accuracy, but even then, I mean, I can still understand why you'd use, uh, you know, go for scars anyway. But, yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna say, after the stream, Remy, I'm gonna kick your ass, you'll fight your ass in my fighting team. I mean, you could at least try to help him, like, Construct a proper team. That's kind of what I was trying to do. I, oh, I will. I will. Of course. Like I like to. I like to teach by example. You know. I mean, I taught him many. I mean, I showed him many examples last night. Yeah. I don't think he learned anything. So. <laughs> And I'm not even saying that, I'm not saying that as like an indictment against Silver, I'm just saying because... Yeah, because I it mean, sure yeah, as hell feels like one, jackass. Because I'm like, because it's like, you know what, yeah, I was, I might have been kicking his ass, but it's like... To be know. fair, <laughs> to be fair, I believe one each of your teams had only like one particular Pokemon that stonewalled an otherwise complete sweep. <laughs> The duck sweep? Because of, uh, Quick Quabble. Oh, that. Yeah, the ducky sweep. Forrest is like, I'm gonna sweep you with my duck, and I'm just like, hey, can I, uh, borrow this for a minute? Takes Quick Quabble, mops the floor with it. <laughs> Here, you can have it back, I'm done. <laughs> there we go, I think so, that's so it. Fucking mad. You fuck fucking scarf made you go somehow fast. How, like, I know that's a 1.5 times multiplier, but Kukwebel ain't slow, and my Kukwebel had max speed, I'm pretty sure. Well, he also had a ship fashion sense, so that's why. Of course, but... Oh shit, it's the cops. Everyone act natural. <laughs> no. Je Jesus is coming, look busy. Jesus! <laughs> He's in here! <laughs> That's him, officers! That's the man! You got a license for that choice equipment? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. crap. Let me take my fight. Oh, yeah, no! I scarfed Con Calder! Because my plan is Scarf Con Calder was. With Iron Fist and Fire Punch. That actually would have been pretty good, yeah. Now, of course, Pyrap is also Scarf. And it has close combat, Ice Punch, Liquidation, and Poison Jam. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say he's Scarf, everyone. Actually, it wouldn't just be Scarf, it would also be, uh, it would also be Band and also, uh... Yeah. Band and Belt, too, I think. But yeah. 
You've you given everyone a choice, a choice fashion. That's what I mean. You've given everyone a choice fashion by the sound of it. <laughs> nope. nope, because the rest of the team didn't need scarves because they were either tanky enough that it wasn't worried, or fast enough to where they wouldn't need it. In like in the case of uh, Daybreak the Sneasel or Grievous the Iron Valiant. Okay, I connected all the pipes. Now, how am I supposed to get back without disconnecting them again? Crap. Ugh, these puzzles. Well done, babe. Well done. Shut up! So, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I guess it'll be fun battling again, especially after I make a few more teams and getting Koki involved. Also, I love I love the name I gave my uh, Kamo. I named her Val Kiri. Okay, that actually is pretty good. Yep. Good uh, I still think it's bullshit that there isn't a format that allows literally everything. Like, I seriously could have sworn there was one. I guess I just have to keep either... I either have to keep looking, or I was just pure mistaken. I don't know. That is That is kind of bullshit that, at least as far as we know, we haven't seen one. Yeah. I'm so, so sad that you guys didn't get to see the rest of my bug type team's nicknames because I had Chopper the Cleavor, Cleavor, Go Go Prism the Low Kicks, and I had Sunny the Volcarona, who did, was not a Sun Summoner, I just named her that because. She was supposed to be based on the Sun, yeah. Yeah. Alright, Scolipede! I, I, I still love so much the Meg. I was not expecting Mega Nulon to sweep like like he did, but he did, and I love it. <laughs> Which, did you guys actually get the reference that Mega Nulon's nickname was meant to be? Figured it was a Godzilla monster reference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's uh, <laughs> but it was. From a movie, I think before Godzilla really took off, it was the first Rodan movie, actually. Ooh. It was a, it was a giant insect that uh, the baby Rodan that hatched in the movie. <laughs> and so mm -hmm. they, were like, they were like these giant bugs that, uh, that were attacking the people in the mines that were just eaten by Rodan once it hatched. Oh. But Rodan just ate all of them, and these things were killing people by, like, the handful before that. So they existed to slaughter people and then get bodied by a giant pterodactyl. There we go. Okay. I also never got to show off my fire, my whole fire team, actually. And it seems a card key is necessary to enter the password. God damn it. So I never got to show off uh, Merylith, the Heatran, who has Earth Power and Power Gem. Alright, I gotta get going, guys. So All right. I'll talk to you, uh, talk yeah, to you later. I'm, a, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute for seconds, and I'm gonna... And I get ready to... Uh... Raining out there because I swear I checked and it wasn't. Hey, okay. I'm still Okay, Grimer's down. So Viper, I think I'll switch to Momo for this one. Alright, uh... 
Psychic. I suppose that down there would be power band. Okay. <sighs> Man. Crash. Yeah, the only thing this Drapion did was Scary Face. If it had anything else, yeah, it didn't use it. I think I have what you want, but if you want it, you know, don't you? Battle me. I think this one actually has the key card that I'm looking for. Zangus. I'll give you this then. Plasma card. Uh, 
Zekrom. Boom. All barriers were deactivated, and you can proceed now. Yay! The device is indestructible. You'll never be able to release Kiram. You don't have the sense to know when to quit, it seems. It's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. Edwin is now level 47. Okay. Another cryogonal. Let's keep Jubage out. Jubaje is now level 50. Yay. Head smash. A rock type move. Uh, not a fan of recoil. Weavile. Hup. There we go. And I beat Zinzelin. Beaten again? No matter. Team Plasma will get the last laugh. Are you sure about that? Huh. If you intend to continue, step on the other warp panel. Keep in mind that you're going to get beaten up if you do. All right, some safe states. Colrus! Welcome. I was asked by an acquaintance to help with his research. What I desire is to bring out the entirety of Pokemon potential. If I can accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. If it means this strength must be brought out by the interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to use a merciless approach like Team Plasma's and force out all of the Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. That aside, the reason I have been traveling all over Unova and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bringing out the full strength of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, Tell me if you have the answer I desire or not. If you're ready, come at me. Alright. 
It looks like you're ready then. Okay, let us begin. I hope you I hope you opened with uh with the rude. Alright. Uh Jubagier is out front right now, which is good because he's pulling out a magneton. Okay, I said rude because Jubaje will be second best. As you remember, he has a psychic type, and we don't know. And I forgot if that's his opener or not. Uh, Volt Switch. That actually did a lot of damage. Holy crap. Yeah, because you're under level. Jubaje is level 50 now. Yeah, and you're. Yeah. And here's the thing. That's still, that's still kind of underleveled. Well, I've got this Magnezone dead to run. Ah, right, come on! Chupache, you stopped short! Because look at the level of that Magnezone. It's the same level. Wait, really? I Magnezone is level fucking 50. You got cocky. <sighs> All right. Revival or Verder Jubaje. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Colrus used the full restore, so. Don't start truly need it, though. When you have. Darud the second, who's immune to the electric attacks. And good news, that Magnezone does not have Levitate. Yeah, I don't think it can, actually. It has Sturdy. Yeah, it can't, yeah, so it can't have Levitate. It has Magnet or Sturdy, so... Right, right. <laughs> that actually hit pretty hard. Uh, good thing Darude outspeeds it. Let's see, is it still... Alright, you're turning the light off. Is it still raining out there? Alright, Darude is now level 47. Cling clang! Uh, switching back to, um... Switching back to Jubaje. Okay. Hey. Oh, it is still raining, but it's not raining nearly as hard. I'll still use my umbrella, though. The false cling clang floats in the air with the air balloon. Uh. Arm thrust. Right, his cling clang is has an air balloon. That's sturdy. Cause that, it's... cause that gets rid of one of its three weaknesses. Yep. There we go, the air balloon popped. Pop the balloon. Pop the peep balloon. Uh, just using... I'm, I'm it... so happy, by the way, that the peep balloon is returning in Mario Bros. Wonder. Oh, yeah. All right, heat crash. But I never got... Because, you know, I never got to experience that. You never got to play any of the Pokemon games with a pee balloon? Or Pokemon games. Mario games? No. I never had them. Ah, uh, man. You should sit down with a Super Nintendo emulator or something and play Super Mario World. I believe that was the game that introduced them. Oh, yeah. Once, once you move in, you and I can play that together. Or, you know, the wonders of the internet. We could do a co-op play on Nintendo Switch Online. Sure, sure, sure. So, mm, 
Here's the thing though, babe. We won't be able to influence each other's games, so it won't be true co-op. Uh, Super Mario World is alternating anyway, so... But I, I, I would still want to play with you properly. Yeah, fair. Uh, ooh, Matang. Also, to be fair, I, when I said play together, I meant Mario, I meant, like, Mario World. Yeah, no, I, I get it. The issue is that Mario World is, uh, it alternates between players, so. Yeah. Earth power. Still, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And, and then we wouldn't need two bloody, like, com gaming computers. Yeah. We could just use the one. All right. Uh, Magneto. Yeah. All, for, for those of you who are watching who do not know, I I was never big on platformers growing up, so I never played any of the 2D Mario games other than Mario 2 and Mario Bros. Deluxe on the uh, Game Boy Color. Okay. You know what? And I never made it far to either. You know what? Deluxe for Game Boy Color, not a bad pick. It was it was one of my first games ever. It so had like a... I said, I never made it far. You know, in fact, you know my story about that. How like, I, either the game glitch story somehow found like the war and went to a pitch and a pitch black screen behind it and some Hammer Bros. And I could never figure out how to beat the Hammer Bros. Because so... that was like three. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'd, I'll give you that. Uh... <laughs> Discharge. Because, you know, with every other enemy in the game, you jump on them. So I thought that you had to jump on them. Hammer Bros. And I, just, and I thought, oh, I will just keep not doing it right. I mean, no, you it's can? The Hammer Bros are the, it's the Hammer Bros are the one enemies you don't jump on. Well, you can, you're just going to take a hit if you go for it. Yeah, and like I said, there it is. Three, I was not good, so I would always go up to them without uh... a mushroom. Because I would never be able to keep my mushroom. Yeah. All right, uh, Itachi, you can take this one because the BAM is coming out. Now, I remember it's pre-evolution LGM being based on... Um, LGM, Little Green Men, or Little Gray Men. Yeah, uh, I'm, B I'm trying to... BEM is BEM, B-E-M, Bug-Eyed Monster. That's what it was. Uh, punishment. Also, may I bring up that BEM had one of the creepiest anime episodes? I think I heard about it. Or do you mean in the new, um, the new Pokemon no. anime? I mean, I mean, like the uh, Adventures Through Unova. Ah. This was this was during the stint where Meow was traveling with Ashinko after his pretend fight with Jesse and James. Oh, it was one of those arcs. Yeah. A creepy nerdy criminal uh, was using his BTM to trap people in dreams so he could rob them or some shit. Uh, and also, Jenny broke in with her duogen, and so you know she still got her ass beat because it was a dream world the guy and his BHM were controlling, so she had no power there. Uh. Which, like, I just, I also just realized how many fucking episodes in the anime were about dreams. Because I mean, to... there was an episode in Sinnoh that was basically that same plot. Except there was no trainer, and it was just a Miss Magus. To be fair, you're also talking about a generation in Pokemon that introduced two Pokemon that expel some kind of mist where you can see people's dreams or something like that. Yeah, I know, but Gen 4 didn't have anything of that sort. We still had the Miss Magus dream episode. Which, that is the, that is the episode that famously gave us Brock with his eyes open. 
Oh god, that was the episode? Yeah, because he was staring at an army of Jennies and Joys that all wanted him. That would that would be Brock's dream. That would totally be Brock's dream. Yeah. That is so him. Because the Miss Matrix was trying to keep the Miss Matrix was trying to keep Ashing Co complacent by tra by giving them like their wildest dreams. So like for Ash, it was winning the Pokemon League. For Dawn, it was being a top coordinator. For Brock, it was being desired by women because it's Brock. All right. So strong. You're a very strong trainer indeed. So let me ask you this. Are you thinking of reaching even higher heights by understanding each other as Pokemon and trainer? Yeah. I see. Pokemon has had, Pokemon has had so many weird fucking episodes. I realized. Because like, every season has had that one bizarre as fuck episode that you question what the writers were smoking when they made it. Like the Porygon episode? I bring up! I bring up the Kangaskhan kid and uh, March of the Executor squad for season one. Yeah. But, uh, Kangaskhan kid being infamous, you find. For one of the uh, lines the being changed, King yes. The Kangaskhan kid episode being infamous in Gary Reva's community for being the worst rated episode of all time by far other than the Porygon episode. Really? Huh. And the Porygon episode only only beat the Kangaskhan kid in score because Garen gave it a minus for every kid that was put in the hospital by the uh, you know the infamous scene. Okay, so now I have access to that other warp panel. <laughs> what? Oh god, I'm just thinking of like... You beat Chorus? Oh god, I'm remembering an episode from uh, Hoenn. It's the fucking like... Episode where May and Ash have a fight after losing to a couple. Jesse and James have a similar fight after losing to that same couple. So James and Ash team up to battle May and Jesse. Oh jeez. Right, that was the episode. It was, it was literally a it was literally a the battle of the sexes kind of episode. Right, and I think that was what that one clip with uh James was. Let's see. Oh, here we I'm go. I'm just I'm just remembering I'm just remembering one of that couple's tactics where having the Needle Queen and Needle King or Boris their way through the enemy. <laughs> like, grab onto each other's tails and then just roll like a fucking wheel. <laughs> it's like, it's like, dude, it's like, that move has so many weaknesses. It's a mere, it's a wonder that, uh, that like, veteran trainer Ash didn't see through any of it. Yeah. All right. Uh, cutscene. Ugh, that blasted okay. Colress. The fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma? How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova. How fortunate for you. Few get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Kyurem's true power to its absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people in Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma's. No. At... I'm, I'm still cutscene. Sorry. <laughs> will bow at Team Plasma's. No. At my feet. Kyurem is an empty being. The remnants of a certain Pokemon when it split into Reshiram and Zekrom. My desire is an absolute rule of Unova. That's right. Kyurem will be the vessel into which my desires will be poured. Lord Getsis, Kyurem has been transferred. 
It's finally here. The wonderful era in which I am the absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of this. <sighs> Wait! You're one of the Shadow Tribe, right? Tell me about the purloin that was stolen in Aspertia. Very well. This might be it. I stole this Pokemon five years ago in Aspertia. So it seems likely that this is the Pokemon you're talking about. But now it only listens to my commands. Such as the fate of Pokemon that are trapped in Pokeballs. What? Don't mess with me. That's someone else's Pokemon. Ah, I feel sorry for Pokemon. They're ruled by Pokeballs at the whims of their trainers. Lord Getsis spoke of Pokemon Liberation two years ago simply for his own ambitions, but... If his plans had succeeded, many Pokemon would have been saved. This Lightbard, well, you knew it as a Purloin. If it had been released, it might have returned to you. Well then. You there. I won't let you interfere with Lord Getsis' plans. Mm. Okay, so I'm just gonna kick this guy's ass. Oh god, what was that? I'm facing off against the... I'm facing off of one of the Shadow Triad. Okay, cause I, I was like, I thought you were saying you're out of cutscenes. I was like, I can't hear you right now over all the traffic. Oh, okay. Um, bag. Oh, excuse me. Oh my yeah. god, what the fuck is that? I, I'm not going that way. Okay, nope. What happened? Uh, down, down like a road that I haven't walked much. There's like a low light over a, over a door. The light is flashing rapidly. I'm like, okay, yeah, no, not go near that cursed staff building. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the that ghost looking to catch the booty. Yeah, that's Dang not uh, mind. that's not ominous at all. Yeah, that is that is a ghost. That's a ghost looking looking to spook or kill some booty, and it ain't gonna be mine. All We're right. Surprised I wake up and there's like. When I walk past that tomorrow, there's just police tape around that. <laughs> it's near the train tracks, too. That's even more ominous. Yeah. Like... <laughs> there's a million ghostly things that could be, and I don't want to test that. Future site. Uh oh. Ha! Ah, didn't get to use the future site. Uh, another pawn yard. All right. Here we go. Jubajé is level 51. Doesn't bother us a bit if a stolen Pokémon would cry or beg. You're not done yet. I think it's gonna be Sorry. Alright, so I gotta face off against the other members of the Shadow Triad. Oh, 
that's a massive puddle. Oh, that's a massive puddle, and I don't know where it starts to where it ends. All I see is water. Water and water and water, water. Water and water and water, water and water and water, water, water and water and water and water and water and water. Ooh, Ben, I'm gonna want to switch to Itachi. Why? What did what got sent out? Bayonet. Uh, Bayonet. Bayonet's not so scary. Yeah, but I just want to. I don't want to take any chances. I'm sorry, Giles, but you know it's true. Bayonet is not a scary Pokemon. Ah, I almost. Clothes. I almost one shot it too. Yeah, it's not, like I said, it's not a scary Pokemon. Okay, give me a second. I need to close up my umbrella. Uh, Shadow Claw. Uh, let's see. Another Ponyard switching back to uh, Zhubashi. Arm thrust. All right. Uh, where is there? It is. Uh. <laughs> All right, the third of the uh, Shadow Triad. Ooh, one shot it. Another Ponyard, keep battling. What chips? There's the chips. The, p the potato chips style. Axelgor. Yeah, that'll be fun. This isn't the generation where it gets Water Shuriken yet, so no need to worry about that. Wait, Excel Gore can learn Water Shuriken? Later on in the series, yes. How much later on? I thought Water Shuriken I was... Think, I think in, like, either the latter half of Gen 6 or in Gen 7. Yeah, because I thought Water Shuriken was, like, a species-specific line to the Greninja. Nope. It was, but it wasn't for very long. Uh, it's like it's like how Darkest Lariat uh, was the signature move of Incineroar for one generation, and then it got turned into a TM. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that when we get to Gen 7, because your boy, the Sidewise, Spirit Shackle, I don't think is... A move that can possibly be learned by anyone but the Sidui. Alright, uh So you're good on that. And I'm good because Sparkling Aria can only be learned by my boy 
uh, Primarina. So, Incineroar's the only one that got screwed. <laughs> Alright, uh... Send help. I think I'll need to use an elixir for... Uh, Jubajie, but other than that... Oh, I and... I candy too. I'm craving a little sugar. Uh, let's. Yep, no. Nope. Go room. I'm gonna buy a. I'm gonna buy a candy bar. All right. I used a protein and a carbose on Itachi. Good. Those are the stats that he needs the most. Uh, I'll give another PP up to Jubage's Heat Crash. Again, okay, that's good. Uh, so let's... Once we, get out of all, once we get out of all this, we're going to those move tutors to get the moves we need and want. Yeah. Alright, um... Calcium. So attack that... Because oh. to one of three Pokemon that could go to Darude, it could go to Momo, or it could go to Magneto. Uh, I just used it on Magneto. Well, that makes sense. Uh, Iron. I think I'll also That's give... physical defense. I think I'll also give that to Magneto. I think I know where I want. I think uh, I know what candy I want. That just I'm leaves... That just leaves an HP up and two Zinc. Zinc is special offense. Yep. That could go to uh, Eddie. Eddie. Both of them? Uh, that's your decision. Uh, both of them. So. That just leaves the HP local, up. My local, gro one of my local grocery stores sells some fun stuff. Some fun stuff. They fun stuff like, as um, in... They sell some porn stuff. And I'm trying to find the right aisle for it. Is it this aisle? No, it's the pasta aisle. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I'll go ahead and... Uh, let's... I got, like... Let's give Itachi a Castilia cone take care of that burn. I've gotten some fun stuff here. Now where the fuck is it? Here it is. Here it is. Oh uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I got jo I got Jaffa cakes here one time. I've heard Jaffa cakes are good. I don't remember if I've ever had one. They're okay. It's a weird texture. It's a weird texture. All right. I've also gotten. What's called Bananco, which was like. I don't even know how to begin to describe Bananco. Okay, this strip looks like it's in Russian. How do you know? Euro Creme SL Block, Euro Cream Bar, Takovo Jadan J. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Uh. It sounds familiar. Don't know if I could put a finger on it. Anyway, uh, cutscene. It looks good. Yeah. Milk and cocoa proc chocolate hazelnut. What else is in this thing? Right. Cutscene. Oh yeah, no, that's that's definitely Russian. Yeah, I'm. I'm, gonna take... I'm doing that's a. That's Russian on the back. I'm gonna take a photo and send it to ya. I'm doing a cutscene, by the way. That was exciting. All right. The giant chasm. This is the spot where Kyurem's power resonates. Here, Kyurem can use the full extent of its power and easily cover all of Unova in ice. Kyurem, come! I have a memory that has continued to haunt me. Just one. That unpleasant look in your eyes reminds me of it. That aside, this is my gift to you, to show my respect for making it this far. 
I'll freeze you solid right here so you can watch my glorious ascent. Kurem! Glaciate! Zekrom, Fusion Bolt! So you can. There's, there's the uh, candy bar. See if you recognize it. Alright. So you came. The freak without a human heart. N. Zekrom told me Kyurem was suffering. I can't allow selfish humans to make Pokemon suffer. And I like you, Nova. It's the place that taught me how to live as a human. It's the place that made me notice the harmony between Pokemon and humans living together. I will protect the Pokemon and humans who live here. Excellent. That was a moving expression of your determination. So the education I provided to make you king wasn't a complete waste, then. But I still haven't forgotten that even though I was kind enough to find you when you were living in the forest with Pokemon, and take you in, and care for you, in the end, you were selfish and disrupted my plans. I was supposed to use your abilities to rule you, Nova. But I'll forgive you for that as well. Zekrom, which you were kind enough to bring with you, can shatter ice. Now you've saved me the work of searching for it. Well, actually, I knew you'd appear if we fired ice missiles into Opelucid City, and you noticed the change. That's an ugly formula. It won't work. Oh, but it will. If I use these. The DNA splicers. Go. I had to mute for a second while I uh, paid oh. my stuff. Alright. So, yeah, I sent you pictures of the candy bar I saw. The pictures of the of what's on the back, definitely not something that will probably be easily read because it's a bit. Oh, excuse me, it's, sorry, it's a bit. Uh, Covered up, yeah, I see it. blurry because of how I was having to hold the camera. Yeah. But yeah, do you recognize that, Russia boy? Uh... I don't think I've ever seen this brand. Well, you can you can definitely see that on the back, that's Russian, so... Yeah, it is kind of... It is pretty blurry. Might need another... <laughs> might, need to, might need to take a clearer picture later. Yeah, when I get home. Yeah. But you can definitely tell that that's Russian. Uh... Oddly enough, when I zoom it out, I can kind of see it, but when I look closer, it's... It, the blurry gets worse. Actually, wait, yeah. nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I see a couple of the letters. Yeah, that's definitely Russian. So, I found, I found a treat you've never had, so I can tell you about Russian cuisine for once. <laughs> Alright, anyway... Cutscene. Zekrom! Curem. Absorb Zekrom. Use Absofusion. A move that does not exist. Yeah, no, I think it I think it quote unquote exists specifically for the cutscene. No, I gotta admit, all this, all this hamminess in the Harmonia family, 
is all worth it for this fused Pokemon. Hell yeah, Black Curem. The boy. What used to be my absolute favorite Pokemon of all time. As I've grown up, I've definitely softened a lot and have started to like the goofier and cuter designs. But like, as a teen, this was my boy. This was my boy. Yeah, no, Black Urim is the shit. It is, I think, the absolute coolest Pokemon design ever. Yeah. And then, of course, in the other game, we have White Curem, which, what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> You're siding with uh, Chugga on that one? It is a bad design. You you can't even deny that. <laughs> I never would have believed that Pokemon could fuse together. That there was a formula like this. You fool. Mate, you need to, you need to go to alternate Kanto. <laughs> People do this shit all the time. Infinite the worst kind of abominations. Just ask Tom Fox. <laughs> Last time, I was going to use you to capture people's hearts and minds to rule them. But this time, I'm simply going to use overwhelming power and rule with an iron fist. Do you understand? If you had simply become king, you never would have remained beautiful. Come now, trainer. This time, no one will save you. But to make things interesting, I'll give you a chance. Let's see if you can stop this, Kiran. What's this? Your Pokeballs are trembling. Could your Pokemon be shaking with rage? No, that's I mean, not possible. Simple I mean, tools don't... Hmm? Five of our Pokemon are shaking with rage. But Tsubase, no, he's shaking with excitement. He's never wrestled an abomination. <laughs> Simple tools don't have emotion or thought. Come, challenge Kirim. Just so you know, catching it is impossible. My cane emits signals that disrupt the function of all Pokeballs. Alright. It's faint, but I can hear my yeah. friend. I can hear Zekrom's voice. It says they can be separated again. I beg you, please save my friend. And all of you Nova's Pokemon and humans. Alright. Uh. Who, is, who is ready to fucking step into the ring with an abomination? Alright. If Jubajie does it if Jubajie does this, he will he will finally have something that Cho Hakai did not. I was literally about to say he was like Man, Cho's never gonna get over this one. I fall an abomination. He didn't. All right, let's rock this, Casbah. And yes, yes, all Embors are fucking Randy Savage. <laughs> Except for Cho Hakai, who just turned out to be Hulk Hogan. I mean, like, okay, roughly the same voice. <laughs> All right. Um, to start. Uh, it's, it's dragon ice type. If you were wondering. Yep. The big thing I gotta watch out about this version of Kyurem is, I believe, uh, regular Zekrom had one of the most powerful moves in the entire series, just in terms of the power stat. This one has the absolute highest. Yup, it has freeze shock. Hmm. I'm gonna see about tagging it with a flame charge. Yep. I love just the absolute destruction freeze charge or freeze shock does in uh in the Kira movie where it just Coats everything in ice. Everything for like miles. Okay, Zhubajie outspeeds it now. And I, I, I Ooh! I, I got more. I got a good crit I got a good crit on him with uh Heat Crash. In that movie, 
it explains the relationship between Kyurem and the Swords of Justice. Where Kyurem is their biggest rival, but he's also, like, not definitively a bad guy. Because, like, once, once uh, Caldeo proves himself to Kyurem, Kyurem's like, okay, yeah, no, just take your family and go. I won't fight you now. It's really, it's really a, all right, well, all right, well, you proved yourself, Darkonian. Take your friends, take your shit, and go home. I'll let you leave this once. So, all right. Like, an honorable villain, which I really like. Honorable villains are some of the best. So, yeah, Kiram was 100% the villain of that movie. But once Caldeo start, once Caldeo proved himself, he's like, "Well, you actually have some potential. I'll let you go home with your friends. Come back and fight me again sometime. I want to see how strong you get." Oh. Which, as a teen, I thought was like, "Okay, is Cam actually the like?" evil or is he just like is he just, he just playing on for test and i was like actually no he could still be evil and just be impressed with caldeo enough to let them go because such a villain can exist yep oof yep free shot one shot edwin so switching back to jubagier so i can finish him off <laughs> Heat crash. Come on, Jubashi. Take it. Belly flop for the finish. Did you actually win? Yep. Oh my. Like I said, you was fucking pumped to fucking wrestle an abomination. He won it with his signature move, the body slam. Yeah, I had to use Edwin as a meat shield for one part of it, but... It was from the top rope. Roger <sighs> is still the, the undefeated champion. Kyurem and Zekrom were separated. I can't believe it! The Black Kyurem I went to all the trouble of preparing! Oh, irritating! Now I have to go recapture Kyurem, don't I? But first, I'll take down this disgusting traitor by my own hand! This time I will succeed, no matter what they try. No one will be able to stop me! Now, I just gotta bring up. I adore how off the walls Getsies has become in the past two years. Yeah, and I think Joga Conroy even pointed out his music that when you're fighting him is kind of just all over the place. Yeah, because, like, and it's in such contrast to how controlled and confident he was in the previous games. Like, his utter, com his complete and utter defeat two years ago shook him to his core and because of his own ego, he couldn't accept that it was his fault. So he just grew angrier and angrier at the world while he recovered. Uh, Cafagragus with leftovers. That's a problem. Smart man, though. It is. Oh, protect? Come on. And, like, Getsy's mirrors a lot of... Mirrors a lot of, like, evil people in real life who... Like, when things just keep happening to them, they just get angry and angry at the world because, in their minds, it can never be their fault. So they just get more and more unhinged and more and more destructive yep. and self-destructive. Yep, Seas is a villain for who is a, who is a villain for its own sake. He's a villain there's through and no, through. Like, bigger, there's no bigger moral to anything he does. 
He craves power because he believes he is the best of mankind. All right. Uh. Well, I did a lot of damage to it, so I guess Itachi can finish it off. Uh, Shadow Claw. And it, it's perfect. And Gatsu's is unwavering egotism and destructive nature makes him the perfect villain for Unova, which is a region that, as Chugga has said, is based around the concept of accepting different ideals and truths. Mm, yes. A man who can never accept anything but himself versus. So, just trying to take over a region where everyone is accepted. Punishment. Like, that's a good, that's a good, like, story villain combination, don't you think? I'd say so, yeah. All right. Uh, Tachi is hurt by poison. Punishment. Of course, it uses protect. Oh, I finally made it home. Oh my god. Oh my god. Long walk, eh? Oh my god. Oh. All right, the Cofagrigus is down. It's so cold out, babe. Yeah, oh. it's, it's getting pretty chilly over where I am, too. Oh. Ooh. Down. Seismitoad. I'm gonna... Huh. He looked flustered from last time. He has his own medic. <laughs> Big grab my dick. Bring up stuff. Bring back. <laughs> uh, I think I'll keep Itachi out just so I can. Uh, let's see. Oh my God! Look who's waiting for me in a cute spot on the bed. It's Mr. Lance and Aww. his lovely green collar. Okay, decent amount of damage from uh, punishment. Yeah. Uh, uh, ha! Why? Because uh, Itachi had the mummy ability when the Seismitoad used Drain Punch to knock him out. Uh, the mummy got transferred to him. We can do this. I can eat this chocolate bar that I just bought. <laughs> and I will eat this Arm chocolate thrust. bar that I just bought. Yeah, I made a bad call. I should have brought Momo out. Good. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Switching out to Momo. That that was really good. That is a good chocolate. Is a good chocolate. That is good chocolate. Oh shoot! I never did. Uh, I never did get that ice beam thing. Oh well, crap. Psychic. Well, we Yeah, we can do that. Ah, uh, dig. If it uses Earthquake, it'll still tag Momo, but... Yep, it does that. 
Oh, shoot. Is that enough to knock her out? Nope. It was enough to knock her out. Okay, fine. Sending out Darude. Also, now I'm home, I can check Gethys' moves for you. Uh, Rock Slide. Oh no. Okay, good. Uh, fuck you it. Know the funny part? What? One of the, one of the move tools we're about to go to has Giga Drain. One of the best grass moves in the game. Okay. High Dragon! I'm keeping Darude out. Dragon Breath. It outspeeds Darude? Yeah, it's a, it's a pseudo legendary in Darude, isn't it? Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't think it would outspeed him. Well, the root's down, so. All right, so I am now going to test. Uh. All right, Magneto, you're out. Uh, I'm gonna need you to be the meat shield while I recover the rest of the team. Because half of the oh, team is down. Well, it's a good thing you sent him out because this high dragon has no moves that aren't resisted by him. Carvagargus had Shadow, Psychic, Protect, and Toxic. Sazatoad had the ability Poison Touch, that's pretty rare. Uh, with the moves Muddy Water, Earthquake, Drain Punch, Sludge Wave. High Dragon has a Life Orb, so every time it attacks you, it takes damage. And it has Dragon Rush, Crunch, Rock Slide, and Frustration. Magneto is probably the best Pokemon you could have sent out for this, because all of those moves are resisted by Seal. Uh... So, congrats on sending out the right Pokemon? Yeah. Alright, fresh water. There's the Dragon Rush. Uh, let's see. Deploying dihydrogen monoxide intake. De deploy healing coolant. All right, Dragon Rush. The good news is that Hydreigon has just been steadily losing health, so I just need a good tag on him and I should be good. Flash Cannon. Deploy Fleming left hand rule. Deploy Fleming right hand rule. Suck my dick. Uh, Magneto's at critical health, but other than that, yeah. Drapion! Drapion. Drapion, Drapion, however you pronounce it. His Drapion has the very sniper, so crits do more damage. Uh, with moves Night Slash, Earthquake, Poison Fang, and x -Scissor. I was like, why is it sending that? I was like, oh yeah, it has Earthquake. Which it just used to knock out Magneto. Yeah, that is why he's sending that out. Though any of his remaining Pokemon could have easily one-shot Magneto. Alright. 
Well, especially when he only had like 15 health left. Earth power. Okay. It's kind of amusing how much of his team is covered by Flygon. Alright, Daru gained a level. He's at critical health, though. Electros! There's the Electros. It's immune to ground. Wait, immune to ground? What, is, what does it have? Babe, that's literally the only... That's literally the only ability it can have. What's the ability again? Levitate. Oh. Okay. You're dating an Electro Super fan. Because I don't my I myself do not use Electros, so. Well, you are wrong. Well, I outspeed him. I hit him with the Dragon Breath. I mean, it's not hard to outspeed to outspeed Electros. He's a good boy, but he's slow. Alright, Darude's down. Alright, um... Do, do, do. Switching to Edwin. And I'm gonna be healing up the rest of the team. Uh, Revival Herb. Revival Herb on Magneto. And another on Darude. And I think I'll use... Uh... There it is. An energy route to bring Jubagier back up to speed. Uh, Edwin... Rock slide. Because of the paralysis, Edwin outspeeds it. And I made him flinch. Ooh. There you go. Up. Electros used Thunderbolt. It took Edwin out, but... Uh, I can go ahead and send out Momo. Because it's at pixel health. All Momo has to do is either beat it or take one hit, and she will literally erase its mind from existence with that Psychic. Dig, just to be safe. You have Psychic. Yeah. Dig, just to be safe. It would take four times. Right, I forgot. Levitate. Well, it was paralyzed anyway, so yeah, I'll just oh, hit it. I thought it was Toxicro. You sent it out again. I was saying it was Electros. Well, look. I'm currently getting... You horny bastard. Um, hi, Galaxy Prime X34. Didn't expect you to... Pop in. Okay. How you doing? Also, don't know why you used the um, Anderson 69 alert. All right. Uh, Toxic Croak. Uh, uh, because because he's calling you out, you horny bastard. <laughs> All right. Uh, just going to slap him with a psychic. Ooh, Sucker Punch. And so I did. Momo, the duck wins. Ducky wins. Here for ducks, people. Could it be? My plans for complete and total world domination foiled yet again? 
No, it mustn't be. I couldn't have been defeated by some random trainer from who knows where. Uh, who could this be? I'm the creator of Team Plasma. I'm perfect. I'm the absolute ruler who will change the world. And I've lost to some unknown trainer not once, but twice? Someone made, someone made a mod for fighters where they replaced Nappa with Killer Queen. Oh god! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There's gotta be screenshots of this, right? I There's a video. A there's video? There's a whole video on YouTube. I'm oh. getting it for you right now. Oh god. As we speak. Yeah, put it in the Dragon Ball channel or something. That's hilarious. All right. Uh, I'm saying it to you. I'm putting it in the JoJo channel. I'm putting it in the Dragon Ball channel. <laughs> look at this. Oh my God! Just looking at the thumbnail. That's amazing. <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh. He is beautiful. <laughs> All right. Anyway. I can't accept this! This isn't possible! I can't be bested by fools who can't even use Pokemon correctly! It's hard to call you this, but... Father, please understand. Pokemon are not tools. Pokemon and humans take each other to greater heights. They are our wonderful partners. Some humans understand this. Why can't you? Shut your mouth! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't talk like a person, you freak! No real person could talk to Pokemon! Lord Getsis has lost control. We'll take it from here. Okay. Without Father, Team Plasma is... Farewell. <sighs> On behalf of everyone... Thank you. Kyurem is fine. Now it has lost its power, but it will come here again. Zekrom says thank you as well. That's right. I can talk with Pokemon. On that day two years ago, a certain trainer and alder taught me something. By accepting different ideas, this world creates a chemical reaction. So I met many different Pokemon and people, and heard so much. And that's how my world quietly grew bigger. By being with Pokemon, humans can continue toward new horizons. By being with humans, Pokemon can exhibit their true power. That... They can continue, they can continue towards a boring... A, uh, apparently not well-received Animal Crossing game? <laughs> wow. That is neither here nor there. Hey, Sky. That's what Zekrom taught. Sky, hop in. We're, we're almost done, but uh, me and Rami got to stay in this channel so I can whoop his ass and put my showdown some more. <laughs> That's what Zekrom taught me. The ideal for Pokemon and me. And someday both ideals and truth will come together. Then Pokemon and humans will be free from the oppression of Pokeballs. You. What are you and your Pokemon striving for? You should head to the Pokemon League and put your ideals to the test. <sighs> Team Plasma ship flew away. Is it over? Yes. I see. So it's finally over. More importantly, you rescued Kurum from Team Plasma, right? You're really something. I'm, uh... I'm gonna make sure Purloin gets back to my sister. Still can't take it out of the Pokeball yet, though. What are you gonna do? He said go to the Pokemon League? Huh, that's a good idea. I mean, now you're the strongest in Unova, right? Go prove it. Do you remember where we first met up in the giant chasm? If you follow the path from there, it goes out onto Route 23. <laughs> Victory Road and the Pokemon League are just past there. Alright. Out we go. 
What's up? I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a random battle lobby on Showdown. My opponent raged, like, literally left after one turn. Yeah, there are some people like that. I'm just, I'm just gonna turn it. You know, I'm gonna turn the timer on. I'm getting points out of this. All right. Do, do, do. People say competitive Pokemon isn't toxic. Ha. People say competitive anything isn't toxic. <laughs> and look at it. I well, I'm getting, well, I'm getting, I'm getting some points for free. Money for nothing and your points for free. Battle off. No, it's not battle options. I will never know. I'm trying to get to that one item over there. What? Oh, you're safe. I'm so glad. As for Team Plasma's ship, a man in a white lab coat appeared. He said that her trainer had given him the answer he'd been seeking, and as thanks, he would disband Team Plasma. Then he said farewell, walk a just path with Pokemon, and flew the ship away. So everything has been resolved. We were even able to confirm that Lord N is safe. Well, that's good. Excuse me. All right, uh, there we go. Uh, okay. What's an itchy baby? Uh, revival herb. There it is. I'm your little butterfly. Green, black, and blue make the colors no. in the sky? No. Come on, that song was a thing. No. God damn it. <laughs> All right. All right, before we call it a stream, I think I am going to go to one of the move tutors and uh, get Momo that Ice Beam move. Oh, the... uh, no, it's Mo... Ice Beam's a TM in the bloody chasm, remember? Oh. Yeah, what we're going to is the Driftvale one so we can get, like, the... So we can get Ice Punch for, uh, for our dear boy Itachi and maybe some other moves. But right. We could, get, we could get Fire Punch for our dear boy Darug. Darug can learn Fire Punch? Darug can learn a lot of things, babe. Alright. Alright, uh... Gonna be looking around for the, uh, Ice Beam TM. Dowsing machine. Oh, hello. What's this here? There we go. Found it. Okay. Right. So yeah. Uh, log on. I will check what else it can get because I think we could actually maybe get a gadget train. I'm still judging you over the how you pronounce it. Giga Drain instead of Giga Drain. I do it on purpose at this point. Yeah, well, maybe you should stop. And yes, yes, it can get it can get Fire Punch, Giga Drain, Heat Wave, Iron Tail, Signal Beam, and Thunder Punch. Those are the good ones. Okay. Ooh, found a Star Piece. Oh, and Dragon Pulse, but I think we're happy with Dragon Breath. Where are you going? Where you found 
found a star piece. Yeah. Where are you going? They're in the hotel in Driftvale. Yeah, no, I'm looking around for some items. Since I just got Ice Beam and I want to see, you know, what else I can get. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, first off, let's teach Ice Beam to Momo over Dig so she finally has her full moveset. Okay, found an Ultra Ball. What's this over here? Another. Right, again, I feel, I feel like we're going to be keeping Soap because of its combo potential with the rest of the party. At this point, yeah. So it's Dig, we're, it's dig we're dropping for Ice Beam. God, what are we gonna drop on Itachi for uh, Ice Punch? Um, probably Snatch. That is very fair. Okay. Oh right, it's the it's the exit. It's the exit on the uh, the west that leads to uh, Victory Road, isn't it? I mean, we're heading to the move tutors first. Yeah, I know, but uh, there is a reason for this. It's because usually at Victory Road, there is a Pokemon Center on each end. So... You, you can fly! And I want to get to the Pokemon Center at the Victory Road hey, so that... Hear me out! Up. Hear me out! I want to access the Pokemon Center at the beginning of Victory Road so that I have an access point for Fly once I've done all that. You actually won't have that. There's no... There's, remember, this is a weird generation for that. There's no Pokemon Center there. Okay. Okay. That's what I was trying to tell you. Like, you can't fly there. Alright. Huh. Well, actually... Uh, I need a cut for that anyway. Yeah. Um, what about this house? What's, what's this house for? That house is a rest house, but it doesn't count as a center. Eh, it's something. I'll, I'll at least heal. Alright, so let's head, let's head to Driftville because, again, that's where the most moves for us are. Fire Punch for Drew, Thunder Punch for Drew, Ice Punch for Itachi. That is, if you want to give Drew... Uh, Thunder Punch, so we have multiple electric attackers. I or, ooh, or give Darude Thunder Punch as he can learn that. Plus, he he's not weak to flying like Zhu is, so he could do he could use it better. Okay, yeah. All right. Also, actually, I yeah, know Darude. Far the far better Thunder Punch is because he's not weak to water, either. Wait, Jew? No, I said Darude's the better okay. Thunder Punch user because he's not weak to flying or water like, uh... It's, it's the other hotel, I'm pretty sure. There's like four hotels, I remember there the it is. one on the Found it, right. found it, found it, found it, found it. On the left, not the right. Alright. Yep. Uh... There they are. Okay, so Ice Punch, uh, gonna teach it to Itachi. Yeah, that, that's a given. Although Momo is able to learn it. But Momo's getting Ice Beam instead. Yep. Uh. All right. Question. Actually, for Itachi, let's get rid of Snatch. Yeah, let's get rid of Snatch. I'm gonna see what else Itachi can get via move dealer. But in the meantime, question! Do you think Momo shoots Ice Beam out of the jewel on her head or out of her mouth? Um. I imagine out of her mouth, because I imagine the jewel on her head would be what allows her to use Psychic. Okay, so there is a move dealer that could give it knockoff, but. Also, you didn't give Itachi any of the TMs I suggested. <laughs> uh, Itachi can learn Ice Beam. Not really that surprising, but it wouldn't be beneficial to him, so... Don't forget, thun don't forget Thunder Punch for, uh, Dirt. Give me a second! 
I'm rushing you, old man. All right. Uh. Hey, there will come a day when I finally get you to say, "Don't rush me, woman." That will be the that will be the highlight of my life. I tell you to calm down. That's close enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So it was the TMs that we could give to Itachi that I suggested. X scissor. Uh, area release and brick break if we have it. All right, you suggested thunder punch for Darude, yeah? Yes, thunder punch for Darude. That way we have multiple electric attackers, and we don't have to worry if Magneto goes down. Cause that's been that's consistently been a problem. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll have Darude get rid of Rock Slide. Rock Slide and Thunder Punch do basically the same thing for Darude. And neither he of them... Has coverage for, he has coverage for... Because really, we only ever have Darude use Rock Slide on Ice Types and Flying Types. If anything, um... Thunder... Better if anything, Th Thunder Punch would be good in an emergency where Darude is facing a Water Type. So if anything, he has more coverage. Yeah, and again, he, he has... For anything that rocks to effective on, either he's got to move for it, or someone else does. Alright, uh, let me check Fire Punch. I know Darude and Zhu can get it, and I'm Zhu definitely sure can. It. Do That's we it. give it to Zhu, though? And what would we get rid of for it? Uh, uh... You know what? Actually, on the Fire Punch, I think I'm gonna pass. Because yeah. I think I think Zhu's current move set is better. Alright. Yeah. Um, check to see if we have Brick Break, because that would be good for Itachi. I think we if do. If not, then X Scissor or uh, Aerial Ice. I think we do. Let me check. Uh. No, we do not have Brick Break, but there's still other TMs you can give him. Like I said, X Scissor and Aerial Ice. If because you should have Aerial Ace by now. If you don't, well, you've had a, you've had a chance to get it since Miss Yeah, nope. Yeah. No Aerial Ace, yeah, so. No. It's, uh, the TM for Aerial Ace shows up after you beat uh, Skyla. Yeah. But uh... x are still pretty good for Itachi. It gives him even more ways to be a menace towards Psychic types. Not that Psychic types can do anything to him to begin with. Uh, let's get rid I of Slash. Know, I, love, I love making him a menace. Let's get rid of Slash, as that's the only thing not really doing anything for him. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see the other move to her moves that we can get in this game. Oh, hello. Metal Man. Metal Man. Uh, so, the other move to the moves we can get in this game. The busy saver uh, metal. The move to this, here we go. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Black and white 2, Flygon gets Dragon Claw at level 55. Can that be learned by Flygon, though? That's the only question. All right. Uh, let me... I saw something that could be fun, but can that be learned by Flygon? All right. Fuck, it can't. No, it can! Oh, my God! Roost! In Humilau. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Roost without losing typing. Ooh. All right. Uh... <laughs> For now, the, for... O the only problem with that is that we've had the only move I could see us getting rid of is fly. Yeah. Uh. All right. For now, I believe I'm going to call it. Uh. Let's see. For. Uh. Before we end it off, let's take a look at our current stats. All right. Starting with Joubagier, level 52, HP 187, attack 157, 
Defense 83, Special Attack 127, Special Defense 67, 88 Speed. Uh, Edwin, level 49, HP 133, Attack 122, Defense 138, Special Attack 75, Special Defense 92, Speed 63. Darude the second, level 48. HP 138, attack 119, defense 92. Special attack 100 even. Special defense 80 even. Speed 112. Momo, level 53. HP 169. Attack 101, defense 108. Special attack 125. Special defense 108. Speed 116. She's the first one to have all her stats above 100. I think so. <laughs> That's funny. And she's only one level above Jupage. All she's right. She's just all around a good Pokemon. <laughs> Magneto, level 52. HP 160. Attack 102, Defense 143, Special Attack 177, Special Defense 93, Speed 94. And Itachi, level 46, HP 129, Attack 144, Defense 72, Special Attack 52, Special Defense 84, Speed 132. All right. Like, like how he ninja jumps in his idol animation. Does he? Yeah. You go uh. back in, you'll see it. Like, his idol animation includes him like jumping up with one knee in the air. Oh shoot! He 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 does. He lives up to his name. <laughs> he is indeed the sickle weasel. All right. I. I like how we were going ballistic when we found the adamant nature on this thing. Because apparently that's like the best one to have on this. Yeah. I love so much how he has max attack. Like, period. Alright. Uh. He ah. got stupid lucky there. Yeah. I'm chalking that up to bullshit no jutsu. I don't care what you say. Look, I will let... This time, I will let you chalk that up to bullshit no jutsu. <laughs> uh, Galaxy Prime, if, if you don't... If you didn't catch uh, any of my previous streams, uh, bullshit no jutsu is basically what I call weaponizing sheer dumb luck. Because, you know, the whole ninja theme. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and find a raid target. Uh, we got so we got like so many Pokemon with high HP IVs. We've got Momo and Magneto. How fitting they were the first two to join us. Uh, huh. Never heard of this game. We can raid Proton John, who is currently playing Keith Courage in Alpha Zones. Never heard of that game. Well, uh, as he's saying, it's rare, the Rare Afternoon Edition. Oh, so it is. All right. Uh, I think we'll raid with the default. No, no, Magneto having having thirty one in the no, 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 no. Explains why he's so fucking hard to kill. No, no, no. I'm, I'm modifying the default message a bit. What? Just a second. Me. Oh, hang on, hang on. I need to get rid of that space. There we go. Me. 
Gets this didn't expect the Shinobi Inquisition! Okay. I thought you were making it something else. What did you think I was going to do? I can't do the stars anymore. I can only do the pizza because I'm not that anymore. But oh well. I will throw in the pizzas. I will throw in two pizzas, in fact. That'll work. Pizza party! Ninja pizza party! Heads up, by the way. Uh, before I forget... Uh, tomorrow is the last day of September, so... If you are planning to subscribe, hopefully to this channel, tomorrow will be the last day you get to do it. All right. Uh, gonna go ahead and raid, and I will see you guys tomorrow around the same time.